Hello everyone, welcome to Research Hub. I'm Zia Hak Munim, the founder of Research Hub. I also work as an associate professor in Norway. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you if we can use ChatGPT to generate any forecast. Here, I'm going to use the Bitcoin data as an example, but you might use any kind of data. It could be weather data, it could be demand forecasting data, it could be shipping freight rate, exchange rate, it could be any kind of data. So here I am on my chat GPT window. So, but first what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the data. So when I search in Google with Bitcoin data, I get these uh, outcomes. So I know from Yahoo Finance, we can actually download different cryptocurrency data and stock exchange data. So I'm going to download the Bitcoin data here. Here you can select uh, for how long you want to uh, download the data for. So here we see that here we have selected one year. But let's say we want to have more, more, more previous periods. So let's say I might uh, select, yeah, let's say 2020 or something like that. Yeah, let's say I will take it from 2020, January. So today is January 20. So I will pick it from January 20. And the end date is, yeah, 20 January 2024. So done. Here we are looking into historical data. We are not looking into dividends or other kind of things, capital gains. We could have downloaded the data on daily level, weekly level, and monthly level. So here, your finance does not provide us the data on every seconds or every five seconds or every minute or things like that. So like very extremely high frequency data, we don't get it from here. But we are going to download this daily data and we're mainly going to get these five, six variables. So data, uh, date, open, high, low, closing, adjusted closing, and volume. So basically we get the opening, closing and high low Bitcoin prices for a day and then also how many uh, Bitcoins were traded, okay? So let me first now try to apply this here. Uh, it's not really applied. I'm just going to double check again. So I want it from 20, 20, January 20, done, and apply. It looks, it's okay. Then I'm going to click on download. So the data is now downloaded. Uh, this is a BTC USD uh, 3, so this is the version. Let's have a quick look on the data here. Yeah, here we see that data set from uh, 20 January 2020, and it goes until uh, today, okay? The price we have for today. So then we're using this data, we will try to forecast it for the next seven days, okay? So what we'll try to do is we are going to actually load the data, the CSV format data in ChatGPT, and we will ask it to generate the forecast inside ChatGPT using the data, okay? And here we have done a paper some time back about next day Bitcoin price forecasting. In that paper, we tried with two models. One is artificial neural network model and another is Arima model. I'm not going to discuss the models here, but we are going to try with one or both of those models in ChatGPT. So here I am now on ChatGPT. When using ChatGPT for this kind of forecasting, it's very important that we make very accurate prompts. The more accurate prompts we are going to make, the better outcome we will get. So let me write the prompt here. So one of the first thing we'll do is we'll actually load the data here. So here I'm going to load the data. It's this version BTC with 3 ChatGPT now allows us to load different files. So I load the data here. And then here I'm going to use this prompt that I have written. So I'm saying that the attached data set includes daily historical Bitcoin price from 20 January 2020 to 20 January 2024. The date column has the date information in this format. And we'd like to focus the daily highest Bitcoin price data of which is available in the high column in the attached data set. So use the Arima model for forecasting future daily highest Bitcoin price. 
He split the historical data into training and test samples following the 80-20 rule and provide accuracy metric MAP for the training and test samples. Then use, then use the trained ARIMA model to forecast the daily highest Bitcoin prices from 2021, so from tomorrow to the next uh, seven days, okay? So this is the prompt we are going to use and let's see what we get. So it starts analyzing and we are going to wait and see the whole process if it works. One of the thing I would like to mention is that here, you see we mentioned the data format, the date format, the columns that it should look into. We also mentioned the model it should be, use, should be using. We also mentioned how they should do the train and test sample. So we have been very specific. And we also mentioned which dates it should forecast. So that's something we mentioned it and gave very clear uh, indication, very clear prompt and very clear guideline how it should proceed. So here we can see it's already providing us the autocorrelation plot. So that's something really nice. Here you can see and read the details of it. So here it is also giving us kind of uh, the accuracy metric. So for the train data, it's 2.13%. So that's actually pretty good. But for the test data, it was 12.5%. So that's not really pretty good. And now here we actually get the forecasts, okay? So yeah, I'm not sure if I'm really going to trust this forecast. It doesn't look good. And also it's like kind of fixed. Okay, it's not changing. Let's see if they mentioned anything about the ARIMA model that they use that they they are using here. Yeah, I mean it. It we see that there is a huge error, so that's clear that um, it's not a good model. But now let's say if we do the same command, and here if we say that instead of ARIMA, we say use artificial neural network. Okay, so if we replace in the same prompt that it should be using uh, artificial neural network instead of our email, let's see if we get. that you know it it now kind of uh, broke down the comments that we have provided so the prompt so and what it should do based on the prompt so it kind of broke it down here now it is analyzing so I'm not really cutting anything here we see the whole process yeah so here it says that it's having some problem it uh, needs TensorFlow to run this so it cannot do it so it is giving me the script uh, to do the TensorFlow. So it's the Python script. Great, so we see that it's not working. It is just telling us that we can uh, run it in uh, Python using this script. But let's see if we can do it using another, another method, okay? So let's say if I copy the prompt again from here, let me give a try with another method, another simpler method. Maybe if I say, you know, like use ETS or exponential smoothing. So here, ETS model. And here I'm going to again say ETS here. So let's see if it can do the forecast. Again, it's just the kind of uh, interpreting that.
Here we see in the training data the accuracy was 3.94% and in the test it's even higher. So most likely our results are not going to be really good. Uh, it's, uh, it's quite high error rate, right? But let's see. forecast we are getting, but actually I'm not sure if I am going to trust any of these forecasts. So if I see the latest price we have here, the latest prices are in the range of uh, in the range of 41,000 something. So I'm not sure why it is really getting a such lower forecast. So I'm, I'm not really going to trust this forecast, but what I wanted to show you is that, you know, we can actually use uh, chat GDP or generative AIs like this to give comments like this and get some results from it. Although it's not maybe the best, but it might improve over time and we might get better results. But in another video, I'm going to show how we can actually use the scripts, R scripts or Python scripts we get from chat GPT and actually implement them in the R or Python setting and get much better results. So for now, that's all. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you find it interesting. Good luck with your research. Bye-bye for now.